this Danish author was a prolific writer of plays, travelogues, novels and poems, best remembered for his literary fairy tales. Hans Christian Andersen, born 2nd April 1805, in Denmark, died on 4th August 1875 in Rolikit, said, where words fail, music speaks, yes, who wants words? And if words have created any kind of changes, then the world could have been a better place to live. You can see libraries after library volumes of books. Children are dragged into the schools and universities to spend 18 years or 20, 25 years of their life just picking up words and they do not know with the words they have forgotten what is love. Hence in the Indian spiritual world you can see most of the gurus or almost all the religious places especially on the Hindus they hardly speak. Hence you can the moment you go there the great rishis, maharishis, gurujis, swamijis, they all, only they speak one language, the language of the music, because it doesn't have any brahmana, kshatriya, vaishya, shudra, where words fail, Hans Christian Andersen said, music speaks. Hence, you can find in the Eastern tradition hardly much of psychologists, psychiatrists, because when they go and attend this satsang, first of all, people, the followers, the seekers, the public who are attending satsang, you ask them at 10,000 times, they have, will say, we are not even authorized to ask a question. Just the sound coming out from the master alone is enough. When I was with Sadhguru, so I was with uh, Adish, so Swami, some, one big Swamiji was there. There was one Acharya Suresh uh, Swamiji was there. I was invited for the Pradisthana and Swamiji was sitting on one side, I was sitting on this side and all the people, devotees came, they were falling into Swamiji's feet. Swamiji was not allowing them to touch his feet. I asked Swamiji, Swamiji allow the feet. Swamiji said, no, 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 let them touch far away. So people touched only they are, I was allowing them to touch the feet. Then later on after the, all this touching I came to know why Swamiji was not allowing because so many people they don't just touch the feet, they rub the feet and then they take the blessings into And so many people rub the feet, the skin will start tearing. <laughs> the pain may be not allowing them. And I, they all said they have seen me in many TVs. And I asked how was my lecture, is it very aggressive and they said, no, no, no. We are not supposed to say anything, just listen. Music has made the people, they all going to all the temples and the ashrams just to listen to the bhajans. We call it bhajan. And bhajan just kills them. They can shake their head, they can move their hand, they can jump and dance, which many religions were shocked to see this madness. And if this madness is not over here, it will land up in the mental hospital. They have more mental hospitals around the world, but you can find very less, very, very less, except in the main cities, because all the sicknesses, illnesses goes with the music, the satsang. And most of the satsang is a song of varieties of gods of nature, yes. People do not ask questions only. Now you have questions and, and uh, yes. They have several answers, logic after logic, and people are crowding around people who have got logic. 
Hans Christian Andersen and Belfort's failed music speaks. Hence, the custom which we are trying to tell the world what happened happened or is happening in Rakum school is morning when they get up after they brush their teeth. As they start sweeping the floor, they start singing the bhajan, the prayer song. And it creates a magnetic force in the house and the heart and the people and the family around you and the birds and the animals and the trees surrounding your house, the trees which never give fruits, give more fruits. And that helps them to light the lamp. The oil lamp, not the candle lamp, oil lamp. It illuminates Kattel in the Belgian, Tamasoma Jodhik, that is the music. And there is no food is made without a giligiri food. The Indian mothers and fathers are known, not only it was one way traffic, both joined together, they cook. And when they're cooking, yes, the recipe, the recipe. They sing the song of the recipe so that when they cook, it, is, it doesn't make any mistakes. Even when I went to Marma Chikilsa, the treatment method of India from the Ayurveda, the Marma Chikilsa, even that Guruji also, not a single person you will touch without that particular mantra in the mouth, that is the music. So let music have it, the gospel of truth. Let music be the prayer. Let music be the answer for all the questions. And there won't be any diseases. 